a Leeds United icon. He's a legend. He's a he's a hero. And one thing was very clear was the amount of love, the amount of respect that everyone has for him. Played over 700 games for Leeds United. Uh, late 60s and 70s, the the team won you know so many trophies and put Leeds on the footballing map internationally, not just in the UK. Because as a Leeds fan, you know, he's, he's a proper legend. Inside for Johnny Giles. And Hunter coming up fast to drive it. Oh, and what a goal! What a goal by Norman Hunter! Well, when I used to get the ball, my first reaction was either Johnny Giles, Billy Bremner, and then if they were marked, I'd turn it onto my left foot, Alan Clark, Mick Jones, dink it into them in, on the chest. Easy as that, Norm. It's as easy as that. <laughs> right from the very first moment that I met him, he welcomed me with open arms and he was such a nice person, honest. Um, and, you know, he gave me a lot of good advice. Um, but the one thing that I would say about Norman that, that really resonates with me is the fact that he didn't change with me or with anybody that he encountered. I used to watch him when he was interacting with people all the time and, you know, he was always exactly the same. It's like he'd known everybody in there for, for 20, 30 years. Um, how, how we tackled, how we, how we caught up in, in brawls and punching Franny Lee, that's a fantastic sort of episode which I'm sure won't, <laughs> I won't get away with that today. A fire in his belly that if somebody got past them, you know you're getting the next one, you, you're getting uh, the full force of the Norman bite to your leg tackle. As a young person growing up and a young footballer growing up, um, watching that great Don, Don Revy side uh, on a Saturday afternoon with, with my father. Um, and then right to the other end of the spectrum when um, Obviously, um, I got the manager's job at Leeds United and, and Norman was, was a great source of experience and knowledge to go to at a time when um, we needed everybody to pull together um, to, to get us out of the, the, the problems that we had. Um, and I'll never forget Norman for his kindness and, and strength and his wisdom in, 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 that, in them times. In, in, in sport and industry, in your industry, Ryan, you come across people who've um, been there, done it, they're a big name, and they don't really have time for people. They're just they're kind of all about themselves. But what well, people say, um, don't don't meet your heroes, don't don't meet your idols. But <laughs> don't don't believe for like one second with Norman because what everyone said about him is that and and a lot more. Yeah, the, the word legend gets used far too much, but um, he's a legend every sense of the word on the pitch but more importantly, off the pitch as well. And then I remember getting a, an income tax return and, and there was a little note and there was the income tax return and there was a little note saying, Norman, keep fighting. And he always said to me, look, just be yourself. You know, just be yourself, be open, be honest. And if people like you, they'll like you. If they don't, they won't. But don't change who you are. Be yourself and be happy and be proud to be who you are. So, you know, that, that, that meant a lot. So I'll miss him. I'll miss him. I don't think I've ever played with or met a player that was as enthusiastic and as much out of the ability he had. You know, he, he really worked hard. And when he first came to the club, he was nearly like Billy Bremner, say, or Peter Lorimer, you know, big schoolboy stars. You know, he, he worked hard to, to achieve you know, the status he had in the game. And I think, without any doubt, if it wouldn't have been for the great Bobby Moore, Norman would have got the 100 caps. I first saw Norman Hunter play at Elland Road in 1971, and it was obvious from that moment on that he was going to be a hero in my world. A fantastic player. I know he gets a lot of uh, press coverage for the tackling um, and his audacity, but Underneath all of that, there was a fantastic, skilled footballer. And he was just part of the fabric of Ellen Road. He was part of the furniture. So, you know, it's like going into your living room and, you know, your TV's missing or something. It, it, it's going to be a, a big, big loss. It's going to be a big hole in uh, the fabric of Ellen Road, I think. The first time I met him was in the Sydney Centenary Pavilion. He put out his hand and said, how are you doing, lad? And we talked about football and what Leeds were doing right and what would Leeds were doing wrong. 
he signed my shirt and sent me on my way with a nice smile and a moment I'll never ever forget. I've met him a few times since there. I've got to say, he was probably the nicest guy I've ever met him at Elm Road. And by God, I cried on Friday when I heard the news. Goodbye, Norman. A legend in every way. I was one of the lucky ones that got a chance to watch Norman play, get coached by him when he was with the gaffer, Billy Bremner, and also to meet and greet with him last season on a couple of games at Ellen Road in his suite. Not only was Norman one of the great players for Leeds United in England, but he was a winner and a true gentleman. He would give anyone, he would give every, anyone and everyone his time and his love for football and especially his love for Leeds United. We're all going to miss this great man. Norman, rest in peace and we will remember you forever in our hearts, my friend. Bearing in mind the referee had been taking notice of the linesman all game, so all of a sudden... It was Jeff Astle, wasn't it? And, and he went, and he, the referee put his flag down. And then he went on, and then he passed it forward again to Jeff Astle, who tapped it in the net. Norman was kind, funny, knowledgeable, but above all a true gentleman. Someone who, if you met for the first time, you would instantly like. On the pitch, he could certainly look after himself in an era when you had to, but also could play with great vision. We will all miss him terribly at Leeds, a real legend of our club.